Hey, my name is Jenny Clayville and I am with National Community Church. And today's verse of the day is 1 John 4, 15. And it says, God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the son of God and they abide in God. So my parents divorced when I was seven and a part of the collateral damage of their split was that it left my sisters and me with varying degrees of abandonment issues. Now, not only was my father no longer really in the house, but my mom somewhat checked out emotionally from that point on. Listen, I'm not trying to throw my parents under the bus because I do believe that they did the best that they could with what they had, but the reality is the best a human has to offer, even at their healthiest, will always fall short to what our creator has to offer. The word abide in Greek here is mene, and it means to remain, to wait with, to stay. In our immediate results, fast food, expedited return and investment kind of a culture of today, it's really difficult to understand what it truly means to abide. And when you layer that with the trauma of pain that's been piled on by people that have hurt or abandoned us, purposefully or not, the idea of abiding becomes close to impossible. But here the text says that God abides in us. For those of us who confess that Jesus is the son of God, God abides in us. God does not abandon us. No, he remains in us. He waits with us and he stays with us. And because he stays with us, we in return, can stay with him. I don't know where you are today, but I do know that you are not alone. Our God is with you. Our God is for you and he will never leave you. So today, let's just take some time to abide in our creator.